Good evening, teacher. Hi, Angela. How are you? I'm good. You continue with the birthday. Um, no, no, <laughs> why not? Eh, ¿cómo digo? Ya quedó decorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eh, me costó conectarme porque estaba lloviendo fuerte y se fue la energía eléctrica y el internet. Uy, quizás se va a venir, está, está lloviendo fuerte. Llovió fuerte como temprano, tipo cuatro de la tarde, pero yo vine acá a las seis y media, o sea, me, hoy sí me tardé bastante, no había mucho tráfico. Y, se, y estaba lloviendo, hace poco se ha quedado, pero sí, aquí me dijo mi hija que había estado sin energía, energía eléctrica como media hora. Mm. Así que... Aquí sí llovió, pero no fuerte, fuerte, no. Pero puede que siga lloviendo. Con, así como toda eh, eléctrica, la tormenta, o sea, eso, con rayos, estruendos y todo. Wow. Pero voy a bajar la plataforma. So tell me, Angela, you have two, two children, correct? Yes. I have two daughters. Two daughters. Okay. Yes. And are you married? No. I como ella madre soltera. <laughs> I am single. I am single. O sea, si sí aplica. Yeah. Bueno, but no sé, puede ser estoy separada, divorciada o single. Um mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. yes. Oh, puede ser I am a single mother. I am single. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Hey, Bert, how are you? Hey, good evening, sir. Uh -oh, I'm good. It, now it's, it's been raining. It's not that, it's not hot. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's raining in San Miguel. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. Okay. Yeah, let me share my screen. So we're finishing this Monday, right? Thursday. This week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's um it's the fourth week. It's the fourth week. Mm. Got it. Okay, so yesterday we did the relative clauses like a good person when et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Remember, uh, creativity quiz. Let's wait. Maybe, maybe more people will join the class. Uh, Jesus Alberto, where exactly is it that you that you um, live in San Miguel, Chinameca, right? Well, let, mm, I'm gonna give you an idea. Do you know? The this is a el encuentro. This is the new mall in San Miguel. Or do you know the babe babe lips baby lips baby lips? Uh, yeah, uh huh. So the okay, new... wait. L let me tell you what I, like the what I really remember. I remember the sitio, the triangulo, the the first one. Don't sitio. go further. Yeah. By la the uh la militar, right? There's something militar there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Punta militar. Yeah, okay. But it's uh far not that far, maybe 10 minutes from here. 
but he's uh -huh. so el sitio is it, 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 I mean I live in San Miguel San Miguel mm -hmm. but it's uh it's just the outside I mean like uh outside the city of San Miguel okay but but now it's I'm going limit. now what it's going to be San Miguel the city of San Miguel yeah San Miguel Centro I think okay San Miguel was divided in three uh yeah I think it's Mokawa and I don't remember what what other I remember I mean, San Miguel if you think if you're talking about the depart departamento mm -hmm. or the municipio and the no no I'm, I'm I'm talking well how many municipios were there four no there were more but no, they, okay with the, with the new arrangement now it's going to be four municipios only three yeah four four so San Miguel I'm not sure. so San Miguel is only going to have three or four mayors Mm, I think four, but I, I I'm not sure. I mean, uh, I I sometimes I believe it's not a good idea, but but I think it's four four municipios. Okay, I I believe it's the north, um, east, center, uh, and the west. I think, but I'm not sure. You know I'm what? Sure. I, I, mean, I think it's a very good idea, but. We really have to see the the consequences. Because if the idea is to save money, okay, let's give them a chance. We will see if if that. So obviously, va a mejorar todo. Obviously. I hope so. Yeah, so but, but you know. I. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> La idea que. Obviously, everything will be better, you know. But I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. But we don't know. I I expecting. I mean, since always I've been expecting that San Miguel, the depart departamento. I mean, uh, it, it has the resource. It have the all what is required to grow as San Salvador. Yeah, For it's example, true. San Salvador. Yeah, I mean, San Miguel, the depart departamento, is bigger than San Salvador. You know, I and felt... what I it makes San Salvador looks bigger is because you're close to Soyapango. You're close to uh, Tata Tecla, uh, Mexicanos. So it gives you the idea that it's big, but it's not... I mean, I'm talking about the municipio, municipio San Salvador, San Salvador. Yeah. Uh, como lo conocíamos antes, uh, municipio, o ahora distrito, ¿no? But is related to Soyapango and Miss. The, la zona metropolitana looks bigger, but actually, you when you enter to San Salvador, the departamento, mm -hmm. from San Miguel, from here, I mean, you enter to San Martín, and then... We are in San Salvador, but we're not talking about the the department, departamento, but not the municipio. So talking I about think the San city. Miguel has the resort, I me, mean, all what what it, all, all is needed to grow. But the thing is, we are we had this problem, corrupción. Yeah, but I you think. know, I felt that in the in the two thousands. San Miguel was really growing, and I don't know, it suddenly stopped. Mm -hmm. Because if somebody made like a hotel in San Salvador, the second option después it was San Miguel. San Miguel was like the second best option, and it was going good, now and I, then it stopped. Now the third, I think, is big, but I, I, I think, I believe that it's related to the corruption. Yes, because but, but you know, Salgado, <laughs> he's very corrupt. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah. No. But you know which department I think has the most potential of El Salvador? Sonsonate. Yes, because Sonsonate has the beaches, has the volcanoes, it has the tourist attraction. 
And really, I would put, I would invest my money in Sonsonate, like hotels, like like good, good quality, because Sonsonate has everything. The volcanoes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The beaches. Yeah, imagine you go to a five-star hotel in Sonsonate. Literalmente, you're 25 minutes from a beach or a volcano. <clears throat> That's where the money yeah, should be. I mean, this city of Nahuizalco and Izalco, this is a wonderful place to visit because it's historical. Yeah. And I think it has, and it's part has of Sonsonate. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I used to live there because my father used to work in the, I don't know how to say, Beneficio de Café. So, in La, we lived, I remember, for two years. When we moved from San Miguel to Sonsonate, it was really hard because uh, we were close to Los Naranjos. This is a really cold oh, place. Oh, yes. So you are not originally from San, San Miguel then? No, no. We moved from San... He he, li, he moved to... I mean, actually, if I have to go to San Sonate to work there. Oh, so you guys... He, yeah, but we lived two years in San Sonate. You guys migrated. My, yeah, that's right. And, but that place where we're living, it was really cold. I mean, yeah, I really cold. Los Naranjos, I don't know if you, Los Naranjos, it, it sounds, rings a bell for you? Yes, yes, it does. I love, love, every time I go there, it's nice. I have a question, class. Do you know the difference between migrate and immigrate? So, so. Okay, what do you think the difference is? Between what? Excuse me? Immigrate, like immigration, immigrate and migrate. Do you know the difference? No, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Jesus was telling us that he was from San Miguel and they moved to Los Naranjos. So they migrated. Migrate is when you move, but always inside the country. Immigrate is when you move from one country to another. So okay. That, so I if, think. Yeah, yeah so I think. Uh, I think that the the meaning is it was the same, but I I I I see, I see it now. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Yeah. So if Bird and his family would have moved to Guatemala, then he they didn't migrate; they immigrated. But if you move from one place to another, yeah. Ahora, si en la misma colonia ya nos migrate. Yeah, yeah. Eso solo no movimos. <laughs> You know, no, but like in this case, like from one department to another, one city to another is migrate. Have you heard of the city of San Francisco? No. You have never heard of San Francisco, California. Yes, it's very painful. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> yes, I have. Listen to the question. Saben que a veces en el pro, en el auxiliar está la respuesta. Have you have you heard of San Francisco? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Did you go? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. You see how in the auxiliary is the answer? So have you ever heard of San Francisco, California? No, I haven't. Nunca he escuchado la ciudad de San Francisco, California. Oh, yes. yes. Everybody has. 
Yes. Do you know why this city is so important or so famous? It's for his bridge, I think. For the bridge. Yeah. Mm, yes, but it's even more famous. Nunca han visto un equipo de ahí que se llama los 49ers. No, no, no. Los 49. No. El equipo de fútbol americano se llama los 49. Ok, well, in 1849, in San Francisco, there was gold in the river. Gold. So many people immigrated to San Francisco. Many people migrated and immigrated to San Francisco. Esa es la famosa fiebre de oro, que creo que ya la han oído. ¿Ven? Quizás no la han leído, pero han escuchado la fiebre de oro. People went crazy, crazy looking for gold. En un río así como el, el fondo de Bert. Así salía el oro. So, many people immigrated to San Francisco. Por eso esa ciudad es tan rica en cultura, porque tiene de todas las culturas. Italians, China, todo, everything. That's why if San Francisco is a very good city for you to, for you to, to visit one day if you want to visit. Fíjense que es bien difícil porque solo veo a Bert y Ángela. Y veo como cuatro personas más que nunca ya uh, nos regañaron otra vez de Insafor, pero ya les dije, vean todos los videos cuántas veces se los he pedido, pero ya no puedo hacer más nada. Entonces, porque, bueno, forget it. So, let's continue. Do you see the video? Do you see the, the lady? Yes, I see. Thank yes. you. Okay, let's watch it. Can you hear? No, teacher. No, all right. Okay. No, yeah. no. Hold on. Let me put the audio. Where the hell is the audio? No, no, I cannot. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Okay, I have three screens. I have three monitors. Okay, audio. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Tell your partner. That's it. Okay. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Okay, are you a risk taker? Do you understand what is a risk taker? Mm, yes, I understand, but I'm not. You're not no, a risk? No. no, I don't understand. Excuse me? I don't understand. Oh, there's Jonathan. Risk taker. Risk. Risk is similar in Spanish, the word risk. Do you take risks? Like uh, riesgo. Yeah. Hmm? Like riesgo. Yes. So are you the type of person that you take risks?
Me not before. You're not? I, I think I am a risk taker. Sometimes I like to take risks. I like the control for the over all almost and, and take a rest. Is, that means that I don't know what happened after that. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you very well. Okay. Yeah, I say that I don't like uh, take a rest because I like the control for the most uh, thing or the control for all. And uh, take a rest, I don't know what happened and that's not good for me. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you like to be in control. Okay, class. What about are you a na are you naturally curious? Yes, I am. That's me. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, me too. I am extremely curious, and when I don't know anything, I ask. I I like to talk to everybody. Es a cierto punto metido. Do you look for opportunities to improve things? I think everybody, no? Yeah. Yep, definitely. Are you sensitive to beauty? To beauty. Yes. You're sensitive like to beauty? What? No. I don't understand that. Like, if you... Do you have a... Are you married, Denia? Yes, I have a husband. <laughs> you have a what? A husband. Yes, I'm married. Oh, did you say gun? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Dania, I'm sorry. How old are you? 29. Okay. Remember when you were 18? Yes. Remember that beautiful boy you liked, but he was a bad boy. And then there was yeah. a, but then there was this other boy. He was a, a good gentleman, but he was ugly. Yeah. Who did you choose, the beautiful boy or the gentleman? <laughs> uh, the bad guy. The bad boy, yeah, because you were sensitive to beauty. Like, no, but he's cute. That's normally. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I mean, everybody's like that, too. Even men. Men, we are like that. I, th I think men, I think we are worse. When we are 15, 16, 17, oh, man, we see a beautiful girl, but we know she's not. You know, but inside, no, maybe she loves me. And it's more difficult for a man because if that girl is beautiful, you are not the only man calling her. <laughs> Hundreds of boys are calling her. And okay. uh, when buy a car, almost the woman uh, look the painter, the pintura, and the superficial uh, thing. Yeah. And you know, the, the importance, like the motor, like Mia, like that. It's true. But you know what? I think I think in my I, I I tell that to my friends or to as a man, I think every man needs to meet a woman who will destroy you. Because that way you will not do it again. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. For example, the majority of my friends, they are getting divorced. And I am happily married. And I think the difference is because my friends, they are leaving their wife because they found another woman. That, oh, she loves me. Oh, I love her. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, <laughs> you, you do that when you're young. 
but that happened to me when I was young. So every time I met a, I met a bad woman, I remember. So I took experience. So when I met the right woman, I said, okay, I'm going to get married here and I'm going to be a good husband. And that's what I am, I hope. Okay. okay. Do you challenge accepted ideas? Sometimes. Me, sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't get it, teacher. I mean, do you challenge and say that ideas? I mean, I think you do, Bert. I think you're the type of person that challenges somebody because it, this is this is something good or maybe something bad. It's like imagine in your job somebody has a new idea, and maybe you think you're maybe you think the idea is not good. So you challenge him. You challenge him like, why Why is that good? Okay, let me give you an idea. Right now, lo de los distritos que se hicieron, San Miguel se hicieron solo cuatro distritos. Correct? Bueno, eso ya no es idea porque se hizo. But when it was an idea, many people said, Many people said it was a good idea. Many people said it was a bad idea. So when you say it's a bad idea, you're challenging. Pero tenés argumento para decir why it's a bad idea. For example, you are IT, correct? Imagine your boss tells you tomorrow. Okay, class. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Equipo, de ahora en adelante todo lo vamos a escribir a mano. <laughs> yeah, look at your face. But he's your boss. Mm -hmm. And you say, what? Yes, because, you know, imagine the technology. We get a virus. We lose all the information. And you say, what? But we can use the cloud. We can use hard disk. We can use external disk. You understand? So that's challenging. Okay. Do you keep an eye out for new fashions and products? Not really. Oh, yeah. Do you do you understand yeah. that expression? Do you understand the expression "keep an eye out"? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo entiendo cómo estar pendiente o oh. exactly exactly. Yeah. Como es ojo de Cristo. <laughs> yes, um, mm -hmm, keep an mm -hmm. eye out. I think in El Salvador that's not very common. I mean people do it, but it's not very common because of of um the economical situation, right? Not like in the United States, like oh my god, iPhone 15. It's a big like everybody is um ordering it. Y aquí apenas vamos por el iPhone 6. Do you adopt easily to new situations? Oh, I do. Do you guys adapt easily to new situations? Uh, yes. Uh, I think so. Uh, at the beginning, when I was start working with Americans, it was difficult, but now I got used to it. Good. I have a problem with my son. He does not adapt easily. And it's a very big problem. Like, if we go sleep somewhere else, he doesn't adapt. He has to sleep in his room. If... I don't know. He, he's very methodical. Sometimes I get angry. <laughs> like, um, yes, you know, like if you give him a pizza and the pizza doesn't have pepperoni, he won't eat it. He doesn't adapt to new changes. No, for example, aquel día we gave him una pizza, pero venía cuadrada. And he didn't like it. He wanted it triangular. 
So, so my son is going to have a lot of problems adapting. Yes, and like my baby, my baby have four years, and she the most of the time don't like the same eat or the same food like mm -hmm. me or like her father, and I have a look other uh, food for she. I she eat for this uh kids no. But I try to to adapt it mm -hmm. for the same food for all. But <laughs> she doesn't adapt now. Mm. Okay, yeah, okay, good. Uh, let me see. Do you trust your guesses institution? I'm sorry, I can't. In my screen, I can't see this that well. Can you? Do you trust no, your can't. guesses in, institutions or insights? Confian en sus institutions. No intuition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Intuitions or your insights? Do you trust them? I do. Are you more... Are you more interested in the future or in the past? Oh, that's an interesting question. Mm. Huh, that's, uh, I think I personal, I mean, I, I, I know it's wrong. I have to correct. I should, I must stop thinking of the past because it doesn't exist. Uh, but that's what I do. I mean, I mean, most of the people do that, that they focus on the past and they punish themselves thinking and the mistake that we do in the past. We did in the past, but I think I have to change that. I have to, to stop, to avoid doing that because it's not good. And yes. as my therapist say, El aquí, el ahora. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I have to focus uh, nowadays, not in the past. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? I think I think if you ask me that question, I think it's 50-50. I worry about the past and the future. Because what happened in the past is going to make my future. Oh, like, like the example I told you. I had I had I had two bad girlfriends in my life. But really they were they were not only bad girlfriends, they were bad human beings. They were bad, bad people. You know, I mean they were very, very beautiful girls and they played me. Do you understand that expression? They played me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was, they it was, my color. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and and these girls, they were very smart. They know how to play the game. But of course, and then, you know, mi mamá decía, para ver un vivo tiene que ver un tonto, right? So I was very stupid in that time. So, so my experience in the past made me, in the present, think about my future. <laughs> so, um, so every time, um, so that's why when I when I met my my wife, I really analyzed her, you know, and then we were together like for five years until I decided hey, we should get married. And um, but because of my experience in the past, now those girls, I really le agradezco mucho. I, I really thank them for the bad experience they gave me. Because I learned a lot from them. I was I not to do that again? So remember that, women. You too. Do you have a creative sense of humor? I need to know. Angelica, no. Jonathan, Claudia, están in the class. No sé si están. No, I, I don't have a 
Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do the list. You don't have a uh, creative sense of humor? I think you do, Bert. <laughs> really? I mean, I, I want to mention this related to the sarcasm. I mean, some people oh. are so sarcastic. I don't, like, I, I don't like that. Sometimes it's so funny to do sarcasm and or yeah, sarcasm. That's I, I sometimes I believe it's so hard, so so rude to people when they don't even understand you are being sarcastic with them. Oh yeah. So oh, that's true. if you talk about that, I mean I disagree, but in a good way to be in a good mood to make a good joke or have a good time, totally agree. Okay. Yeah. Or or there's also a dark sense of human, a sense of humor. Hold on, let me check one thing. Listen Let's to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? One, Samira. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently, or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. 2. Alex well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. 3. Naomi I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want, so I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So, after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy, that can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So, I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always succeed, but I do manage to get my way a lot of the time. Okay, what do you think Samira does? Architect. A what? She's an architect. 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 What does Alex do? I understood business owner, but 
Mm. So Samir is an architect. Architect or architect? She's an architect. Okay. Alex is a small business owner. Very good, yeah. Okay. What does Naomi do? Interior designing. Interior design. This is such a good money in the United States, but here you will be poor That's if you do this. Yes. I grow up uh, be watching TV, Hellman Hall, my Health. And the more majority for the shows like uh, designer and that the thing, uh, remodelation. And I want to study that, but in this country, that's not a good uh, career. Yeah, it's not. Because here, no. Nobody pays somebody. Can you tell me how I should decorate my house? Yeah. Sabarina doesn't do that. Sabarina la decora con. Sí o no, todos tenemos en la casa o las nuestros padres un, un cuadro con un retrato como con cinco fotos en el cuadro. Yeah. <laughs> Nada que ver, pero ahí estás. Y artesanías también. Yeah. O, o una juguetera llena de recuerdos de quinceañeras y bodas y no sé qué. Yeah. I don't like many things. I like I like my house empty. So for example, in my living room. I don't have tables. I just have the necessary. I have the sofa and the TV and the sound bar, but it's on the wall. I don't like jugueteras and tobas. No. You are minimalist. No, because I don't know. It's, I think it's unnecessary space. I don't like. In fact, I don't like patios. Now I think no, but after uh, when DVD, B player, and radio, oh, yes. and all that, the majority for people have the um, ¿cómo se llama? Se dijo el, uh, sound. Juguetera. La juguetera. Oh yeah, you know, like every house, a eh, eh, El patio traga luz. I, I don't understand that. I think that's unnecessary space because it's useless. Do you understand the expression useless? It's no. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, for me, for me, a little patio in the middle of the house is like when you analyze, you don't do anything on that little patio. Some people put plants, but I eat nothing. So I think, no, I can make either the kitchen bigger or the comedor bigger. I, I like to use that space, but I don't like, I don't like that little space. Yes, all big uh, windows. Yes. To the light. Mm -hmm. or, or like a small patio in the back. It's like a very small patio. What I did is uh, I made that my laundry room. So I have my washer, everything is in there. So I like to use the space. Or in here, the, that space is for the clothes and, and the other things. The, the majority is trash or basura. Yes. It's not a, a good space. Mm. Yeah. But I I have a secador, I have a dryer, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, okay, let me see part two. Instruction. Does Samara 
Alex and I write only the first letter of each capital letter. Stays on top of friends. Samara, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Samara. Alex answers the phones. Samara works long hours. Naomi helps mm -hmm. clients decide what looks best. Think about the competition. That's A. Present ideas to clients. That's Naomi. Let's see here. Problema solving. Uh -huh. In this case, participants will learn the uh, practice using expressions related to problem solving. What is that? Let's see. Problem solving. Alternatives. Information. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now, let's learn the following vocabulary. Verbs. Analyze. Find. Organize. Explore. Make. Solve. Nouns. A mistake. A situation. Alternatives. Information. A problem. A solution. Possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? Okay, first of all, do we understand everything? We understand the verb analyze, find, yes, yes. organize, explore, make, and solve. What is make? I said no. Okay, and what is do? Also, sir. Also, sir. Do you know what the difference is? I think so. Make uh, is refers to something physical, like uh, when you make uh, in a fabric. I mean, uh, factory, sorry. Uh, you create something uh, real. I mean, something, or you transform something you make. Okay, okay, yeah, you're ninety percent correct, but you do exercise, and that's physical. I mean, I didn't mean physical, like physical. No, I, I mean, understand. Like, uh, I know. I know. <laughs> no, I understand. Sorry, no, I, no, no, it's okay. No, and I do understand because um. In Spanish, there's only one verb. So in English, there's two verbs for one meaning. The difference between make and do is that, yes, make is components. You need components to make one thing. For example, you make a sandwich. You need bread. You need mayonnaise. You need ham. To make pupusas, you need masa, cheese, pork. You make, yes? Do is more activity. Algo que existe. Like exercise. You do exercise. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand the difference between make and do? Yes. Yeah, sir. I do. I understand. Yeah, so when you, when you have components, like for example, coffee, coffee doesn't exist. The coffee we drink... I need water, I need coffee, I need sugar, I need the components. So I make coffee or I do coffee? I make pizza. I make coffee, okay. Now we have nouns, a mistake. What is a mistake? Un error. Mm, yes, yes and no. Because un error is an error. But a mistake is un poco más light, es como equivocación. Me equivoqué. I made a mistake. Pero es lo mismo. ¿no? Que entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia de equivocarse y error? Y en español, un error es un poco más light. Un, un equivocarse es un poco más light. Un error ya, ya tiene más consecuencias. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Stupid example. Le voy a dar un ejemplo tonto. 
mi ex la que era toda loca y bad, mal humano. I made a mistake. Me equivoqué. Si me hubiera casado But con she... ella. ¿Ah? Pues sí. Cometió un error al dejarlo, por decirlo así. Ah, o yo si me hubiera casado con ella. Oops, I, I made an error. Porque era más difícil yeah. retractarme, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so that's the difference. So mistake is un poquito más light. A situation, alternatives, information, possibilities, a solution, and a problem. Let me see. Who is single here? Me. Ronald, right? I'm sorry, who is it? Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Oh, I, I'm seeing your chat. Jonathan, so you don't have a girlfriend. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Do you, when you like a girl, do you, do you think of the alternatives or the possibilities? Do you explore your opportunities? Or do you feel like you're not ready or you just don't want to have a girlfriend? Okay, Angela. Um, Angela, do you are you an or do you organize everything in your house? Yes, I organize. You are an organized person. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Um. Bert, are you the type of person that likes to ask for information? Yes, I am. Yeah. Me too. You know, I am the type of person that I like to ask for information, but I like a baby explanation. You know, like, um, I don't like, like, Okay, like recently I bought a car. I had to go to aduanas, right? Yeah. And I and I had to fill out this form and people said, vaya, mira, voy a llenar aquí, voy a llenar el, el deca, el, el pica, el bluca, and then they start giving you this vocabulary that you don't understand. You know, and I said, wait, 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 excuse me. <clears throat> o sea, this person understands because they do it every day, maybe 100 times a day. But they forget that we don't understand. So when I like the information, I'm like, can you please explain what, can you explain that to me, please? E, you know, so I, I, when people talk to me in, in, in French, I don't understand. Let me see what's next here. Sentence modifiers. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see the sentence modifiers. Ready? We're about to finish advanced two, which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause, but it is not essential information. 
that cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. I'll be honest with you, I never like her explanations. They're very, very... Like, really, do you understand what she said? With the sample, yes, but the word, I think... Yes, so when uh, I don't know when she starts the non define with a comma with a blah, 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 like, come on, man. We're about to finish advanced English course. Okay, look, a sentence, a non defined relative clause is a sentence modifier. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, look, you can use a non defined. So, which so okay, let me explain it my way. The non defined relative clause is which to make a comment about the entire sentence. Politicians are corrupt. Yes? Which means it's a good business. Okay. Religious leaders are rich. Which means I am in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> You know, honestly, honestly, I think, I think that preachers, predicadores, sacerdotes, and, and all those leaders, I don't think they believe in God. Because, because they're not afraid of him. They are so, so right. rich. Yeah, because it's like they're, they know inside they are playing with the followers. They're getting rich, so rich, and they know it's not correct, but they don't care. So um, I believe that if they were afraid of the God they preach, del que predican, they wouldn't do that. You know, so that's why I, I, I believe that to be a, a, a rich, oh man, <laughs> to be a rich, a rich preacher, predicador, or and any leader in every religion, they are all billionaires. So it really contradicts. It really contradicts what they say. So I don't know how to engañar a los a los pobres. Como, you know, I, I don't know. I just I, I don't think they believe in God. So, but me, I don't believe in God, but I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart to lie to people that do. No, Neither do I, teacher. I, I yeah. we, my nephew and I, we, he jokes. I mean, he makes funny, make fun because he knows because we, all my family, we read the Bible two years mm -hmm. i know the bible the whole bible i mean whenever anybody's talking about the bible i know why they're talking about because i know what the what is about Genesis and apocalypse i know the whole bible so my nephew say why don't you become a pastor <laughs> yeah <UK? laughs> yeah many people tell me that why don't you become a preacher no, man, I'm not going to lie to people. <laughs> Por ejemplo, aquí hay, hay uno, Toby, man, he is rich. He is, he is rich, rich. His father was rich. Yeah, her father. I know, I know some, some, some dark stories about Toby's father. Because I know the person, I know the girl. Wow. But you know, I always remember my mom said, 
para ver un vivo tienes que ver un tonto. Esas, ay, pensé en tatuarme eso una vez, pero <ríe> qué tonto me iba a ver poniéndome eso. I was thinking, ¿cómo lo puedo poner en otra forma? So, uh, I have three cats, which means there's a lot of cat fur on my clothes. So, um, imagine I can say I live next to in Mexico Gonzalez, which means in this moment I am suffering with traffic. Example, Bert lives in San Miguel, which means he is always hot. Who can give me an example? Me. All right. Um, I think, I don't know if did this. <clears throat> I started a nursery, which means I take care of all those people. Okay, good. You you really studying nursing? No, to no, become a nurse? Oh. Only in my bachillerato. But I don't like that career. Oh, okay. Um, Friday is okay. You you complete the sentence, okay? Bert, Friday is the inauguration of the Central American Games. In San Salvador. Mm. Which means mm, actually, I, 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 um, I don't have an idea, but but it's going to be a, a to be... chaos, a chaos that day. Yeah, because it's going to be in the stadium. So, creo que tres, so cinco cuadras a lo cuadrado estar cerradas. Can you imagine it? Crazy. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. And what time is the narration in the morning I, or in the afternoon? No, at night. I think it's going to be at seven. Uh, which yeah. means, which means, I think after three o'clock, everything's gonna be crazy. Yeah. All the. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So this tomorrow we'll we'll practice a little bit more about this, okay? It's just to give like a comment about the entire sentence. Okay. Un ejemplo, Bukele va a hablar esta noche. Bukele is going to speak tonight in a national which means tomorrow all the haters will be giving their opinion. Oh, vice versa, right? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah we I got it. I mean, we're talking about what you said before. I mean, you are giving a, a extra idea or just comment what you just yeah. said. You're giving a, a comment related to, to that, mm -hmm. to the sentence, yes? Mm-hmm. It might rain yeah, tomorrow. Exactly. It might rain tomorrow, which means take an umbrella. I think uh, San Salvador is the capital, which means it's the main city of the country, which and I think it should be clean. <laughs> yes. Because it's the face of El Salvador. Yes. So I wonder if that's all the road should be really clean los Edwards and because I remember when I used to work there I, I, I remember I wanted to walk from La Nacional to Citibank in Boulevard Venezuela you know the mm -hmm. La 49 yeah and Boulevard de los Edwards so the when I was walking to my work it was so nasty yeah to look to the street, a lot of crap in that street. Human, you, you know my my wife. It, my it wife, was awful. My wife was telling me today that she passed in front of in Mexico, Gonzalez, mm -hmm. 
because of the traffic, she has to come walking. Yo la tengo que encontrar, like, a dos cuadras. So she passed in front of el, the stadium. Ya no aguantaba y se que apestaba orinas. <laughs> yeah, ya yeah, todo. That's right. That the workers, they are doing number one and number two in the street. That's awful. Yeah. But the thing is, I, I remember when I was walking through the Paso de Nivel, I don't know how to say that word. Good. Bypass. The bypass. Oh, yeah. no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Es un puente. Paso de Nivel o Paso, uh -huh. para caminar? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no. It's, it's the, the, the other car goes okay, through. Okay. It's a bypass. It's a bypass. Yeah. I remember I was walking in the morning. Uh, and I, the whole, I mean, and the, all the street, a lot of crap. And I remember when I was near to the bypass, there was a dude crapping there. I was, oh, that was the worst experience I ever had in some oh, time Think about it. I mean, yeah. I was watching the crap and then I was watching the people, the person who was doing <laughs> Yeah. By that I mean, bypass yesterday in los in los procedes, no, héroes. There are some Willapegas, right? And um I saw yesterday a girl, maybe seven or eight months pregnant, like this. Drogándose. Like right there. Oh man. Yeah, that was common also in the Los Héroes when I returned to my, in the afternoon, uh, a teenager's child, I mean, but like that, and then asking for money for the mm quota. -hmm. That still I happens mean, I, today. I, I, but, but I think San Salvador is the capital. I mean, which it means the main city is the faith to from to Salvador of Salvador, I think it should be different by now. I, I wonder if the major, the current major, is working on it to change that because it's awful. Mm -hmm. To you know, you are exposing your house to the visitors, and that's embarrassing to, that's to show a dirty place like that. It's true. It's true. But you know what? That happens everywhere. <laughs> I don't may, maybe because they are the most important cities, many people migrate there. Like for example, New York or, or Paris and France. I have a lot of people that have gone France that have gone to Paris and they say it's extremely, extremely dirty, a pesta. You know, but if you go like to a different city in France, it's better. So maybe es la maldición de las capitales. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it, it could be, but I think that the the authority they should yes. do something because now nowadays because a lot of visitors coming from different countries and that would be really embarrassing to people. Yes, and Levante de los Héroes it, it was awful. It to still is. Have that experience. Because yeah, I didn't. I mean, I remember I was. I woke up early. I didn't have, haven't taken my breakfast, so I was so sick. <laughs> yeah, that was sick, man. <laughs> okay, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a wonderful day. Okay, teacher. Night. Good have tomorrow. a wonderful night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.